Hello, friends. All right. I've made a bunch of videos. I say this every time. I've made a bunch of videos. Haven't really put them up. Um, so you haven't seen the garden in a little while. Here it is. I have been busy. This is, a, this is a very busy time of year, especially with gardening. I've been canning, um, made mostly tomato stuff. And then I really need to step it up on everything back here. There's a lot of preserving that needs to happen, especially the, the basil. I haven't really decided what to do with it. I don't want to dry it all. Um, I understand the making of pesto. Uh, I want something that's going to last a long time. I might try freezing the basil. Here, I'm going to show you basil. Uh, I might try freezing the basil in, in the little ice cube trays to like throw into dishes with some oil and stuff like that. So I have this basil and then I also... Oh, don't look at this. Um, have this little globe basil. This is actually my favorite kind of basil. The really little. And then I have some purple basil and other types of basil. Um, I actually, I tucked in basil all along the tomatoes. Basil and zinnia, you'll see here. Um, so there's, I know it looks a mess. It, it is a little bit of a mess. We're kind of done. Look at the tomato plants are, are done. So I'm going to be pulling out all the tomato plants. The interspersed with tomatoes, I planted zinnia. This looks much more magical in person than it does on this camera, but zinnia and then um, basil. Look at, look at this sweet potato vine is just coming through here. Oh, I want to show you this. Okay, this is my first year growing sweet potato and I'm definitely growing them next year, but not in the garden. I have a spot over in the dog pen where I'm going to grow it. Look at this. Look at the sweet potato vine and it's like i'm like what is this it's like a bunch of of the vine like fused together or it's just like one giant vine it's so cool you can see that so it's like growing up and and out here so that is any i can barely find the basil oh here's the basil plant okay so i got basil interspersed uh and then a lot of weeds so i have a lot of clean up to do in the garden and then also harvesting the tomatoes did well this year uh i do need to make the rows wider maybe not here but definitely over on this the smaller you know the, the indeterminate the little cherry tomatoes they just get so out of out of hand you cannot walk through uh, this is also because the sweet potatoes have taken over and the weeds and there's a bunch of uh there's a nest of yellow jackets back there so I stopped going back there and just gave up on my cherry tomatoes because I am not I got stung and I am not not getting stung again oh here I uh, remember I planted this I wanted like a vertical this is back when nothing was vertical I don't know if you can remember that so there was a point in time when the garden there was nothing like vertical interest everything was just flat and I was like oh I need vertical interest of course now it's like tons of vertical vertical elements but I have a there's a trellis underneath here that you can not see at all and I planted um love in a puff and also some hyacinth bean runner bean but love in a puff which is this and it makes these little seed uh seed things and look here we'll pick this one I'll show you so this is okay that was weird here I'm gonna focus now it, the seeds are in here. I'm just one-handed. Interesting. So here, I'll show you what a seed looks like and why it's called Love in a Puff. Look, they have little hearts on them. See the little little heart? So it's Love in a, in a Puff. And these are the seeds. And I overplanted the crap out of this. So much so that you can't even see it and it started getting hard to walk near it. But I will say, right now, the bees are loving it. I don't know about you, I'm guessing probably it's the same in your garden, but the bees and butterflies have favorite plants and it changes as the season goes on. So like they'll all be swarmed around a certain uh, vegetable or just like ornamental flower or something. And then all of a sudden they'll all decide that this other thing is their favorite favorite plant to be on. Right now the love in a puff is, is like, it's the bee's knees. <laughs> so funny. Um, they all love it right now. So I'm actually, I just, Put some more of the seeds in my pocket because I don't I drop some on the ground those will come up next year which is what I was going to talk to you about I was going to talk about volunteer plants a volunteer plant is a plant that comes up that you did not plant so 
if you've been gardening for any length of time, you probably have this happen in your garden, you get volunteers. Um, I've been gardening long enough that if I did not plant a single thing next year, I would still get plants. I would get tomatoes, I would get basil, I would get herbs, I would get flowers, I would get squash, uh, just lettuce, kale, like all these things because they've, they've grown and they've dropped seeds and, and they just, they come back. They don't come back where you want them to. Usually they just come back wherever, but you can then move them places, which is great if you're like me and maybe don't get started on seed starting at the right time. All of a sudden you'll be like, oh, I was supposed to start these seeds. And luckily you already have some out in the garden. You can just move to wherever you want. Um, and in your compost, if you're not a good, I'm not a good hot composter. So we get a lot of things growing up in our compost. So let me show you. All right. So for, for example, and this right here is um, lettuce. It's lettuce. I had my, some lettuce over here. It went to seed, it threw out seeds. And now I have baby lettuce growing in my pathways. This is another lettuce. Um, here's another lettuce right here. This right here, which is now done, this is a um, cherry tomato plant that grew right here where I definitely did not plant it. And that happens frequently, especially with cherry tomatoes. They just, they volunteer everywhere and shoot up everywhere. Over here in the dog pen, like I, I've been throwing out just like food for the chickens and stuff. So of course I have a whole bunch of uh, tomato plants that have just seeded themselves over here. Lots of tomato plants. Basically, I feel like it's it's just like a good insurance policy. Like if you don't get to plant all the things you want or you have some things that, some plants that didn't do well and didn't take off well or bad seed starting, which I had, at least you know you can go outside and probably find something <laughs> and just move it to wherever you wanna move it to. So start your garden, just start it from where we are at and um, your garden will love you back and it'll start kind of growing its own stuff and, and it's just so great. Um, I've really been leaning into the whole gardening thing. I don't know, especially now that it's cooled off a little bit. I wanna be outside more. That's part of the reason why I haven't made a whole lot of videos, guys. The times when I'm out in the garden, I don't look like this. Like, this looks nice. I look like a sweaty mess, disgusting. I will take my camera and turn it on and be like, oh my gosh, no. No, because it's just like blah, covered in dirt. And I mean, that's gardening. You're out and working. It's not very glamorous. Um, so, so right now I'm out here because it's wet. It rained. I'm not doing gardening right this second. So I'm out here talking to you. I do want to show you what I am doing now. So just quick change, change gears for a second. So this was like a bed that I kind of made just recently. I, um, dug up some of the grass and let the chickens, tried to get the chickens to stay over here. I kept throwing food over here. So maybe they'd kind of help till up the soil. Our chickens don't do very much work that way, but, um, but they, I think they helped a little bit. And then I just seeded, um, some wheat. I'm gonna try to grow my own wheat. Um, we eat a lot of flour, we eat bread and, and just a lot of, we use a lot of flour. So we would have to grow a lot of wheat to do our own to make our own flour um, and be self-sufficient in that way. And I don't think we're going to get to that point. I'm not trying to grow enough wheat for us, but I do want to see the process and see what it's like. It's kind of like when you're learning, when you're doing math and you're learning to do something like, like factoring polynomials or something like that. And there's like the long handed way of doing it. And then once you've learned how much work goes into doing it and how annoying it is, then you learn like a trick. To, to be able to do it. Or, or maybe like, you know, long division. You're doing long division, you do it by hand, and they're like, okay, well here, now that you know how much work goes into it and how it's done, here's a calculator. Same thing. I wanna see all of what's going into making the wheat, uh, growing the wheat and and picking it and stuff like that. And then uh, once I know what the, that entails, I'm probably still gonna buy flour from the store. But let's see. So I threw out the wheat. Um, few days ago and then we had some rain I kept it wet and then we had some rain can you see look oh, it's starting to grow like this is supposed to be underground but you know it is what it is so I'm just break up the okay there you go um so I'm excited it's gonna grow hopefully so but what this also means is that the poor chickens have been in chicken jail for a couple few days and they are really upset about it they hate me 
they hate being in their coop because we let them out during the day and they only go in here at night. So they're all in here and they're like, why? Why are we in here? Let us out. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're in here because you were you were eating my wheat. So I think that's probably it for today. I am gonna try to make more videos. I say that every time. But um, I hope that you are having a great gardening season and a great time where you're at. I um, hope you're putting up food for the winter and that, that you just are doing well. Yeah, so I will catch you on another video and uh, yeah, that's it, bye. <laughs>